Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess, back with another video. This is a reading about what is getting in the way of your manifestations materializing in the way that you want them to, or as quickly as you want them to, or as strongly as you want them to. Okay, just to give a little insight into um how to make your manifestation stronger or how you could possibly be getting in the way of them being stronger or materializing at all okay so again use your discernment when you are listening to this reading also i ask that you be open to receiving the information this isn't one of those readings that's fun and you know we're getting some nice uh happy information this is kind of getting in you're behind a little bit just to you know make sure you get back on track we all need it the best of us need it okay um so we're gonna get started with our tarot cards and go from there we have the seven of cups the knight of coins the seven of swords in reverse the nine of coins in reverse and the wheel of fortune okay so we have knight of coins and then nine of coins in reverse just in case i didn't enunciate that properly so basically what i am seeing especially with the seven of cups card is a lack of focus and the jack of all trade syndrome basically because you're talented and able to do multiple different things sometimes it's hard to focus on just one thing you're trying to do too many things at one time you may feel like you have to do a bunch at one time just to make sure you always have something going on and not necessarily focusing um, as much on one thing at a time and I have been guilty of this as well. So there is a lack of focus and a lack of patience with the Knight of Coins card. Also, I am seeing there is a little bit of jadedness. Is jadedness a word? Being jaded, okay? Basically, um, just having... It's okay to be a realist. I'll say that. I would I would say me maybe a little bit cynical, okay, which is going a little bit far beyond being a realist and just being like, okay, I'm not living in a fairy tale land. I I'm being realistic with myself, but being a little bit cynical, which you know can happen to all of us at a certain point in time. There's a lot going on in the world today that would make people be that way and just feel like um expecting hoping for the best but expecting the worst hoping for the best but expecting the worst instead of hoping for the best and expecting the best okay so that's what i'm getting with the cards on the top you definitely don't want to manifest roadblocks and extra tests and all that by looking at the glass half empty instead of halfway full even though realistically it is halfway empty as well there we go with that realism thing don't take realism too far okay a part of a manifestation is being able to use your imagination being able to feel as if the impossible is possible okay so we need a nice balance of being able to be realistic as well as being able to be idealistic as well so that's what i'm seeing for you all especially with this two of wands and it's funny because i don't know if there are any other two of wands cards that have like this double-headed person but you all are the gemini and the lovers card is one of y'all's cards it has two people in it but this one can also represent y'all in this particular deck as well and it represents basically being able to plan ahead, look forward towards the future. But in this particular card, this person keeps looking back as well. You know, like on Noah's Ark when they told what's his name not to turn back and look and his wife looked back and then she turned into a pillar of salt okay let's not keep looking towards the past yes we do need to learn from the past i am not saying not to take the lessons forward but don't allow the past to make you jaded and interfere with your hope for the future essentially okay so we have the seven of cords of coins in reverse again that is just representing patience so things are not happening in the time frame that you want them to happen in and that is causing a little bit of frustration of course that would happen with all of us 
but don't allow that to knock you off of your square okay we have the ace of coins and the five of wands it's like as soon as you almost get to the point of manifesting what you're wanting then you start thinking negatively again and thinking about how long it's taking and it's not happening when you want it to and here we go again with things not working out the way i want them to work out stop doing that because the moment you start doing that is when your manifestations are about to happen and a lot of the times we end up going through tests right before we're about to get our blessing it's just a test i don't know why we have to be tested so much i would like to just be able for to things to happen the way i want without having to go through a test every goddamn time it's like how much do i have to prove myself and that's how you're feeling i have already proven that i'm committed and that i'm willing to put in the work and i want things to happen when i want them to happen god dang it <laughs> <laughs> that's how y'all have been feeling and that ends up pushing your manifestations out even farther okay we also have temperance okay so a need for balance and patience three of cups and page of cups so again you all are needing this three of cups card is you're needing to What's missing from your manifestations is the actual feeling that it's going to happen. That's why when I made my um, career and finance oracle deck, I put a card in there that says rejoice in advance for rising prosperity. Meaning you want to manifest money, you need to go ahead and celebrate now that you're going to have that money, that you're going to have the opportunities that you want to have. Go ahead and toast, have a drink, party. Start praising whoever your higher power is, thanking whoever your higher power is. Start feeling as if your manifestations are coming to pass right then and there. And having that childlike with this page of cups, that childlike happiness and enthusiasm when you're manifesting. And that is going to allow you to manifest quickly and faster, okay? With this temperance card, homegirl is looking serious. She is looking like she's about her business. But we need to have a balance of seriousness about our business spiritually, sound all of that and being able to have fun as well okay and having a childlike mentality if you have children around you allow them to help you to get into that mode okay my son does that for me a lot he wants to come watch movies he wants to play games we play stuff that i played when i was a kid guess who we watch um what is it paramount plus and disney plus stuff that was out when i was a kid and i'm excited about him watching things that i watched when i was a kid allow your children to help you if you have them to get into that child like hopeful anything can happen that i want to happen playful type of mode okay and that's going to help you with your manifestations let's get some oracle cards we have surrender stubbornness okay if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding this will help you communicate more loving with others and yourself this message is perfect for gemini's okay i have gemini a few gemini placements it's not sun moon rising or venus it's either in my Mercury or my mars mercury or mars i don't remember which one and then a few other places and i have a tendency look gemini's y'all are intelligent y'all are smart <laughs> y'all know a lot y'all read a lot y'all are articulate y'all know how to enunciate your words correctly okay you know a lot but you don't want to let that get in the way okay very very intellectual but you need a balance of intellectual and emotional intelligence as well okay as well as having fun letting your hair down not being stubborn not feeling like a know-it-all okay um surrender outdated beliefs about yourself so that's what i was saying about being jaded okay yes there's some things that happened in the past don't beat yourself up about things that you make mistakes you may have made in the past feeling like you should have known better because i'm a know-it-all so i should have known better <laughs> i'm playing with y'all gemini but i can play with y'all because i have gemini placements okay so i know how y'all be thinking sometimes don't allow yourself to be your worst enemy okay 
We also have surrender to divine timing. Okay, so patience. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. Okay, I'm, I'm from your ego's timing. Okay, if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust universal flow. Also, speaking of universal flow, if you're not into universal laws, I would suggest looking into those, okay? That helped me learn how to manifest very, very quickly, very strongly, without the need of tools, okay? Just being able to use your mind or write things down, not having to necessarily light a candle or do a whole elaborate ritual, just being able to speak things into existence. I recommend looking into universal law, look into the law of transmu uh, transmutation. Everybody knows about the law of attraction, but there's more than one universal law. That's just the most popular one. I love the law of transmutation because it allows you to take a negative, turn it into a positive and make it work for you. So even if something isn't working in the time frame that you want it, you can tell yourself, you know what, that just gives me more time to make sure I got myself together when this does happen. That gives me more time to hone in on exactly how i want this to look okay that gives me more time to be prepared things that happen negatively turn it around this morning my uh smoke alarm was going off for four hours straight i was so upset so angry i couldn't focus on doing anything and i just while i waited for maintenance to come i just started deep cleaning i've been needing to deep clean for a long time and i'm not talking about cleaning i'm talking about deep cleaning dusting cleaning the carpet, getting into all the corners, washing the walls, you know, all that kind of stuff. So while I was waiting, I couldn't focus on anything else. <laughs> so I did a full deep clean cleanse of my apartment. I've been needing to get that done. So I'm not going to just be upset about the time that I lost not being able to, you know, be productive at the things that I wanted to do today, this morning. I got something done that I needed to get done that I kept putting off because of a negative situation. So you all use transmutation to turn things around, okay, to work in your favor. Also surrender to denial Accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see clearly and make the best decisions. We have surrender your fear of change. So the surrender to denial could be that you're not recognizing you have a fear of change, which could, which could be subconscious, okay? The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, <laughs> I can, I can relate your health or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. I love that they put an affirmation. I didn't know they had those on some of these cards. Also, surrender your ego, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals, okay? When they talk about cultivating gratitude, I'll use this example. So, I recently had to replace two tires unexpectedly. There's something going on with the front end my, of my car that's making my tires... Um, basically wear out faster than they should and i thought it was my rear passenger tire that i needed to replace because it kept going flat so i went in and they said oh you got two holes or two nails in that tire we can fix that you're fine but those two front tires need to be replaced now i didn't even know that i needed the two front tires replaced so for one i have to be grateful that that tire in the rear passenger side was going flat because otherwise I would not have known that I was driving on tires that were about to basically fall apart because you couldn't tell by looking at the tires in the front. He said the wires or something were coming out. So by that tire in the rear going flat, that caught my attention. I could have had an attitude about it and been mad, but it caught my attention and made me go get that checked. And then I found out there was another issue with my car. So I ended up unexpectedly having to pay to replace two tires instead of me being upset about that i said you know what god 
thank you i appreciate the fact that even though i really did not want to spend this money on these tires right now it's about to be the first of the month i just spent money to do an event hundreds of dollars to do an event i really did not want to do that right now but thank you for allowing me to have the money in my account to be able to do so because what could have been worse me not having the money to be able to do it at all so i am grateful and i'm thankful that i had this money and i'm thankful that it's on its way back to me twofold through a way that's not harmful to me or my family. That's called transmutation of energy. Whenever something is going on, make sure that you express gratitude, even if it seems like something that is not positive, okay? We also have surrender your need to always be right, okay? We got the know-it-all syndrome here, but that's okay, y'all, because, hey, I've been accused of thinking I know it all. So... I understand. Like I said, I got Gemini placements myself, okay? Surrender your needs to always be right. Give others the gift of letting them be right. <laughs> letting them be right. Oh my God. So it's like, you might be right, but allow other people to come to the conclusions, you know, on their own. Um, be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. So for some of you, what could be getting in the way of your manifestations materializing is getting into conflicts with people because y'all you're arguing over the small things that don't even matter small details things of that nature how they articulated a word incorrectly all of that stuff little petty arguments um you know there's no need to point out everything that somebody does wrong okay we also have uh again the need to just kind of relax a little bit especially with that three of cups that's you know under these cards so we have trustworthy friends thank your angels or thank you angels for surrounding me with people i can trust and love so again not being jaded being open to accepting people that can help you being open to accepting new friendships and trusting that you're going to attract people that are trustworthy and that are genuine as a gemini you do have the intellectual uh, abilities to basically see people for who they are see right through people and because of that you can become a little jaded because there's a lot of people out here that are just full of it period point blank and you just observing how people are just you know foolish or whatever don't allow that to basically have a wall up or a shield up and that could be preventing you from attracting the people that are meant to help you carry out your goals okay we can't do everything by ourselves especially if we have big things that we need to accomplish eventually we're going to need help from others even if it's just for people to kind of help us relax okay so what else do we have change and transition so again surrender to your fear of change spiritual gifts okay like i said you all have the gift of being able to see straight through people but you don't want to you know allow that to basically make you feel like everybody is full of it <laughs> or um you know you're so so much into your thinking and your spiritual gifts that you're not necessarily being human um let's be a little bit less robotic um let's feel a little bit more okay let's let's express our emotions a little bit more um let's emotionally feel the manifestations occurring so basically what i'm getting here is just needing to balance spiritual emotional practical um all of those different talents um and skills that you have being able to balance and not just leaning more on one than the others we also have new beginnings so be open to new beginnings and spirit animal okay so maybe y'all have a spirit animal that you need to tap into as far as adopting the qualities so when it comes to change transmutation i would say a snake would be one um, being able to transform itself okay um and you can look up snake symbolism but i'm saying that for a reason okay snake to me represents transmutation so what i would say you probably all y'all probably um 
connect with the owl a lot okay the owl is known to be wise like a wise sage okay and you all are very wise but the snake is also known to be wise as well but able to uh transform able to shape shift okay so you all may want to lean a little bit more towards the snake archetype and less towards the owl or figure out how to balance it um, I know snakes can be looked at as, you know, evil or bad or whatever, but y'all can do y'all research and, you know, do what you want to do, okay? And now I have some cards just for fun. Now these cards, because this is, you know, a little bit heavy. These cards have cuss words on it, so it's not going to be as fun because I don't cuss, so I'm not going to say the cuss words. <laughs> but let's see. So it says, cook a effing meal. So. You all may be eating out a lot. Let's see what the home homemade food is is for play. Okay, so you all may be eating out a lot, and that could be affecting you emotionally. The food that we eat does affect us emotionally. It does affect um, the chemicals in our brains and things of that nature. But also, cooking allows you to put your own energy and your own vibrations into your food speaking to your water speaking positive things to your water before you drink it that is a way of manifesting there is a whole lot out there about manifesting with water so you can look into that but also just being in a good mood and speaking positive positively into your food okay people that are working at restaurants sometimes they are very stressed out and if they are stressed out whether they're cooking or serving or packing your food that energy is being um transferred into your food as well so you may want to just try home cooked meals or maybe you doing like a home cooked meal is going to lead to some sort of opportunity for you whether it be um making content about cooking whether it be selling the food that you cook or just taking the time to not be focused so much on the cerebral things and just doing something simple like cooking okay also we have your friends miss your face they need you you need them okay so you might have been in hermit mode lately which i totally understand but it's time to get out and have some fun let your hair down socialize spend some time with your friends okay that's going to help you to be able to manifest because again it's putting you in a good mood and in a good vibration and vibration has a lot to do it's not everything to do with manifestation but it has a lot to do with it and then last we have want ish to be different y'all see what the real word says right camera i'm gonna need you to focus there we go y'all can read it but i'm gonna say want ish to be different okay change yourself first okay if stuff isn't working out how you want it to Figure out what is it that you have to do with that. What do I have to do with that, if anything? If you don't have nothing to do with it and you did your part, cool, fine. But the card came out for a reason. <laughs> so, hopefully I wasn't like screaming and yelling at y'all too much in this reading. I'm about to go get some cookies from Crumble. So, I'm about to go ahead and end this video. And I'm going to come home and I'm going to try to relax myself. And I'm going to try not to make any more content, do any more work, think, take any more classes, work on anything. So, y'all, just relax. After you watch this, if you can, just take some time to relax, have some fun, unwind. And if this resonated with you, please let me know in the comment section. Also, please like, share, and subscribe if you feel called to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!